imagine that. Four, four. It's joy, love. Tell them how you stay positive and motivated. <laughs> today is gonna be about how to stay happy and motivated like I think I'm gonna do five top tips I want this video to be short punchy and sweet because let me tell you something let me give you a lot let me just tell you the truth okay cue slow music the truth is I don't really watch YouTube videos okay sorry I'm so sorry I never used to watch YouTube videos. So when we got introduced to the, the YouTube world, it was like a whole new thing for me. Like, I, that's why people are like, oh, you guys come across so natural because I haven't seen anything to compare myself to. Like that, if that makes sense to be like, oh, I should do something like that, or I should do something like that. Now, I watch loads of YouTubers like Patricia Bright and yeah, Mimi and Alex Icon, the team Swad well. Yep, I watch all of it. Terrell and Nikita. <laughs> I'll watch you guys. I've realised, I've, what I've realised is that all the YouTube videos that I usually like to watch, like, I, if I go into YouTube and I see a video and it's like 45 minutes, I'm like, 40 what? Nope, I don't want to watch that. Nope, I ain't got it. And then me and Carl's videos are always quite long, so, you know, yeah, I just thought, let me do a quite punchy, quick video, for quick five minutes, five top tips, and all of that. So, tip number one. How to stay happy and motivated. All right. When you wake up in the morning, yeah, the first thing that I do to keep myself happy and motivated, the first thing, what do you think it is? Yes, I pray. I pray. Like, it has, like, let me give, be honest with you. Before, my pastor would be like, you know, wake up, give God, you know, Jesus woke up, went to the mountains at 5 a.m., blah, blah. And I'd be like, mm, that's all good, but I'm not Jesus, and I don't really want to wake up at 5 in the morning. I don't want to wake up that early. If I want to pray at 12, after I've done this, 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 that, I can pray. I can pray any time of the day. I can pray when I want. That's how I kind of used to see things. Until I read a scripture about giving God your first fruit. And I was like... I understood first fruit as in give God, like say you got a job and then you know maybe or you've done an event or something and your first paycheck you'll give it to God or something like that. Okay, I get that, but I didn't really understand like in terms of first until I heard Paula White a preaching that she did and she was just like, Yeah, your first, the first part of your day, like the first of your month, like the first of and I was just like, Do you know what? That in me was like I was like, Do you know what? I'm gonna dedicate the first of my day to God. No Snapchat, no Instagram, no YouTube, no checking anything, no checking my missed calls. I dedicate it to God first things first. Um, usually I read a scripture first, so um, I've got the Bible app. And these are not ads, these are not plugs. If you know me, I only say what's real and what's true. If it's an ad, I'll tell you, I don't get paid for this stuff. So, But I love the Bible app. And I literally go to the Bible app, I might find the scripture of the day, read that or find something, maybe a... Um, uh, something different that I want to read. I'll read that and be like, yeah, blah, I'm going to stand on that for the rest of the day. I'm going to keep um, using that scripture. The Bible says, uh, meditate on my uh, word day and night. So I'll use it, I'll meditate on it, I'll think on it, I'll throw it in a prayer, I'll say it out when I'm talking to someone. Yeah, I use that word. Secondly, number two, two, two. What I do is I put on either a sermon, something motivational. Just something that's going to lift my spirit. You know, like, come on, there's days you wake up and you want more money, you want more this, you want more that, you want whatever you may want, yeah? You want something. And you just don't feel like, there's days when I wake up, I'm like, I just don't feel like it's attainable. Like, you know, thoughts become things and my thoughts are in the wrong place. So, I literally watch something. And recently, I've been watching a lot of Oprah and a lot of Brene Brown. I love, like, Brene you my girl, we're going to meet one day. Like, I literally watch and plug in and listen and take things in, write some things down, tweet some things out to the people around. And yeah, that's another thing that makes me happy. Third thing. I've got, um, oh my God, my mind's gone blank of exactly what it's called. I'll link it below, but a diary that I write in. What am I grateful for? 
what at like one thing i've realized is that there's always something that you can want more of there's always something there's, in life there's always something that's like that you know i'm missing this i need this i need that there's um something that i keep throwing up, up a lot on twitter my twitter will be here go and follow me i keep saying that stop worrying about tomorrow stop thinking about the things that are going the stresses of tomorrow and just focus on today like we're always thinking about but how am i going to get this and when is in an hour and i'm trying to basically i'm just trying to be in the moment at all times and be present so what am i grateful for i'm grateful for my husband i'm grateful for my cat i'm grateful for the fact that i woke up this morning i'm grateful for the fact that i'm healthy i'm grateful for the fact that um i'm able to smile i'm just i, I just say what i'm grateful for and straight away that puts a smile on my face because as much as there's things that i want there's things that i have and also I remind myself that you know like there's some things that I have now that I always wanted do you know what I mean like as human beings we're never satisfied but like I have to remind myself that Cass last year you wasn't here this year you're here enjoy it love it enjoy the moment four oh imagine that four 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 fingers yeah Fourth thing, um, music. I I have said this before. What really helped me get over um, my mum, not get over it, ugh, that was a bit, not get over it, but get through it and be able to come to terms with it was music. Like, the song on my wedding, insert wedding part, where me and Carl are, I'm bigger than all my problems and every situation yeah that song yeah that song literally that got me through and i don't just listen to gospel music i'm not gonna sit here and be like that's what i listen to i only listen to gospel music anything that can uplift my spirit that makes me smile that makes me happy that makes me want to go and get my day i listen to it at the moment i'm gonna play you like what i'm listening to and in love with i just call my next one i've been cold the whole season i just call my next one <laughs> Guys, if I show you what I'm playing it, look. Does any look hack of the day play your song in a bowl when you can't afford to buy the bossy beat? That joking. <laughs> Literally, that song, I love it because it talks about black kings, this is our year, um, cold, like, you know, it's a cold, cold song, like, yeah, just how cold you are, and, like, yeah, I love it, I love the song, thanks Stormzy, plug, no, joking, I love Stormzy, you, you guys already know, we don't have to go into that, but, yeah, so, literally, music, music, whatever situation, whatever way of, you could be down, but listen to that right song, like, because I'm happy, whatever the song may be, and it just lifts your spirit, it, like, it takes you from, so number five. Five, 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 five. Look, this is really important and I'm gonna say it to you like this, guys. Who are you hanging around with? Who are you hanging around with? Who is your friends? Who are they? What do they say to you? What do they talk about? And what is your conversation? This could be a whole video all on its own. If you want it to be, right below i literally have a husband who is probably one of the most inspirational people in the world yeah i'm biased it's the truth he is if you know him you know he's inspirational he just literally comes in a room says something and lights up your mood he's very rarely ever down i don't know that no, no very rarely ever down so like be around people that are going to encourage you yeah not people that are going to be like oh yeah it's true like no it needs to be around people that are going to tell you go get it, it needs to be around people that are going to tell you go out there and literally take over it needs to be around people that are going to tell you it is your year it needs to be around people that are going to tell you turn that frown upside down you need to be around people that are going to tell you look stop complaining get on with it you need to be around people that are going to tell you listen go out there and win you need to be around people that are going to tell you you are the best better than all the rest better than anyone joey always wants to get in there you heard him crying say hey joe tell them how you stay positive and motivated network net worth like not just financial net worth like who you are as a person on the inside is because of who you're around you're around some friends you leave them and you're like wow i can do anything i can put my mind to i can climb a mountain i can walk on water 
and if it come on, I can have it. And then you're around some people and you're like, life's rubbish, life's hard, life's that. And I'll just end on, what I'll end on is thoughts become things. Your mind is, look, so important. Your mind needs to be your garden. The garden, look, Carl always used to say that he makes whatever he wants. Like, he'd make a pretty garden in his mind. And I do the same. Like, in my people always say, Sandra, you live in a fairy tale world. You're such a princess. You're in a bubble. I created that bubble. Do you know why? I know that whatever I keep sweet here and whatever I think here will manifest here. Do you understand? So, as if my thoughts are like, oh, love, love, you're going to see me. I'm not going to look happy. But if my thoughts are like, do you know what? Today didn't go the best, but tomorrow it's going to be better. Do you know what? Today I might not have, but tomorrow I'm going to have thoughts become things. Speak it into existence. As I'm saying that, just put words there. Great words. Peace, joy, love. But be happy. Be happy. Be positive um just go out there and get it on that note guys stay locked in stay hashtag locked in and just look any other videos you don't want put below like comment and subscribe and that bell there i think it's every time i say there but i think it's there that bell yes click it notifications on if you want us to do more videos you need to click it all right all right very much and Carl will be back in the next video and he'll have some of his own videos too stay locked in good night love you guys